This event includes forward-looking statements about our strategy, outlook, performance, and other topics that are based on our current expectations and subject to risks and uncertainties. Please refer to the press release and our SEC filings at intc.com for more information on the risk factors that could cause actual results to differ materially. Hello, and thank you for joining us today at Intel's 2022 Investor Conference. I'm Ann Kelleher, and I run Intel's Technology Development Group. In July of 2021 at Intel Accelerated, we unveiled our process and packaging roadmap out through 2025. Today, I would like to provide an update on our progress. Our update has three key takeaways. First, as we said at Intel Accelerated in July of 2021, we remain on track to reclaim transistor performance per watt leadership by 2025. Second, our broad portfolio of advanced test and packaging technologies gives us unmatched leadership in the industry, both today and in the future, that benefits our products and foundry customers. And third, innovation has always driven Moore's Law and innovation continues unabated. Let us start the update today with process technology. Intel has a long, rich history of foundational process innovations in pursuit of Moore's Law. Over the past 20 years, all major transistor architecture innovations from strain silicon to high-K metal gate to FinFET were led by Intel. All these innovations and more propel the industry forward. Our innovation in pursuit of Moore's Law continues. From Intel 7, now in volume production, to Intel 4 and Intel 3, which usher in extensive usage of UV lithography, to Intel 20A and Intel 18A, where Intel will once again lead the next major transistor architecture innovation, transitioning to the Angstrom era with the introduction of Rebenfet and Paravia. We are already working on the next node beyond Intel 18A, and we will share more on this in the future. This roadmap clearly shows that our pursuit of Moore's Law has not changed. However, we have changed some of how we work. We have a key focus on balancing innovation with execution and predictability. Our sequencing of development is TikTok-like, and we have structured our development to be modular. We have simplified our process flows, reducing both the number and complexity of each step. In addition, we're doing active risk assessments and developing contingencies for high risk areas of the process flow. We are embracing our equipment and material suppliers to get the best from the ecosystem and are now using industry's best known methods to standardize where it makes sense. In addition to changing our methods, we have increased our R&D investments to continue to innovate to get ahead. A key element of regaining leadership is our ramp of EUV lithography. Our implementation of EUV is showing impressive results with step count and area reductions and improvements in throughput and productivity. We have committed to lithography leadership and will be the first in the industry to receive a high NA tool, which we are planning to use in manufacturing in 2025. Our development methodology has become modular and mimics a TikTok model. This accomplishes two things. First, modular development architects more independence into the different segments of our process flow that can be monitored and managed without impacting the entire process flow. Secondly, modularity also increases our rate of learning since we are organized by common technology modules even when they span nodes. Our PowerVIA technology development is a prime example of modularity. 
We have organized our development teams by common technology areas, signalers, power delivery, and transistor. This has dramatically increased our development velocity while reducing the risk of delivering both PowerVIA and RibbonFET on Intel 20A. Intel 7 is in production with the recent launch of Alder Lake with a 10% performance per watt improvement over our Superfin technology. And additional performance per watt improvements are coming on future products. We increase both the strain and use of low resistance materials, enabling faster channel movement. We delivered novel high density patterning techniques, streamlined structures and better routing within the metal stack for better energy control. As you can see, this Alder Lake die signifies the delivery of the first of our five nodes in four years. Additional products, including Sapphire Rapids for the data center will be in production in 2022. Intel 4 follows Intel 7 and will be manufacturing ready in the second half of 2022. Intel 4 is our first node to fully embrace the use of extreme UV lithography, or EUV. The result is approximately a 20% improvement in performance per watt and a significant jump in density over Intel 7. Intel 4 continues to progress well, with the first stepping of Meteor Lake CPU's tile coming out of the fab last quarter. It powered up in just 30 minutes, as demonstrated in the time-lapse video being shown. In this test program, we're testing three aspects of the tile, internal cache, logic, and analog content. All are working per spec. We test the array and logic with three stages, before, during, and after stress tests, simulating life cycles of the tile by toggling transistors at high voltage. The highlighted square shows which die is being tested on the wafer, and you can see all the green icons lighting up, showing that the die passed the tests, which means healthy silicon. All told, this is one of the best lead product startups we have seen in the last four generations of technology. Intel 3 is architected for easy design portability from Intel 4, with the addition of a denser high-performance library, increased intrinsic drive current, and optimized interconnect metal stack with reduced via resistance, and an increased use of UV relative to Intel 4. Intel 3 delivers an additional 18% performance per watt and will be manufacturing ready in the second half of 2023. Intel 20A ushers in the Angstrom era with two breakthrough technologies, RevenFet and PowerVIA. PowerVIA is Intel's industry-first implementation of backside power delivery, eliminating power routing on the front side of the wafer. This provides optimized signal routing, which reduces droop and lowers noise, and gives improved performance. RibbonFit, Intel's implementation of a gate all-around transistor, is our first new transistor architecture since FinFit. RibbonFit delivers faster transistor switching speeds with the same drive current in a smaller footprint. Intel 20A will deliver up to a 15% performance per watt improvement. Intel 18A will deliver up to an additional 10% performance per watt improvement. We're extremely excited about Intel 18A because it gives us the opportunity to begin architecting the ribbon fed transistor to create tailored features and to increase our transistor density. And it allows us to optimize for customer design and usage needs. As an example, working in conjunction with a Foundry customer, we recently delivered an Intel 18A wafer that exceeded our customers' expectations. We expect to have two test chips from potential Foundry customers taped out on Intel 18A during 2022 and a total of four customer test chips by the first half of 2023. 
In summary, I am pleased with our execution on our process roadmap with Intel 4, Intel 3, Intel 20A and Intel 18A all on track or ahead of what we said at Intel Accelerated in July of 2021. I would like to talk about another major component of our leadership strategy, which is packaging. Our advanced packaging and die sort technologies will play a critical part in our pursuit of Moore's Law and bring additional value to our products. Historically, the main function of the package was to provide a way to route power and signalling between the motherboard and silicon. Packaging went through several major evolutions in that era, each supporting more functionality in the silicon. Intel has a strong history of leadership in these technologies. As we enter the era of advanced packaging, we will add new functionality, increasing the value and importance of the package. For example, our EMIB architecture allows us to connect multiple die via high-density, high-bandwidth silicon bridges in the substrate. This allows a designer to build larger die complexes exceeding a single reticle to create highly optimised products while achieving performance nearly equal to a monolithic design. Intel's Faveris technology enables vertical stacking of multiple different pieces of silicon on top of an active base die. This gives designers more freedom to pair different die, different process nodes, and potentially optimize yield while minimizing the XY footprint. When we combine those two technologies together, we get the best of both worlds, delivering a product as advanced as Ponte Vecchio. And as we continue to evolve, we can clearly see that packaging is no longer just about delivering power signals. Packaging is now a key vector of innovation, enabling our continued pursuit of Moore's Law. However, packaging leadership is not just about interconnect scaling. Leadership and packaging provides a wide variety of choices allowing your customers multiple vectors on which to deliver leadership products. In advanced packaging, it is critically important to balance thermals, power and high-speed signalling to deliver leadership performance. Intel has industry-leading capabilities and a unique solutions in all three. Our solder thermal interface materials enables products to run cooler and can even be used when a package is soldered to a board. Our magnetic inductor technology for power delivery improves both peak and light load efficiency. And our groundbreaking work in integrating optical signalling on package will lead to increased bandwidth and reach at lower power. Test capabilities continue to grow in importance. As we integrate multiple die into a single package, we identify the good die first to benefit our yield. Intel's leadership in single die test improves our probability of attaching only known good die to the package. The final hallmark of leadership is the ability to deliver all the above at high yields, in high volume, with a predictable cost structure that is appropriate for the benefits. All combined leadership packaging provides a wide variety of choices for designers and architects, which allow them to maximize and co-optimize product performance. In 2022, we will deliver many examples of shipping our leadership packaging in high volume. We have been shipping EMIB products for several years, but this year we will launch Sapphire Rapids using EMIB at a 55 micron pump pitch. Sapphire Rapids will represent the highest volume data center CPU using advanced packaging ever shipped to date. Later in 2022, we will be preparing for the early production of Meteor Lake, which will launch with Faveris at a 36 micron pump pitch. Over its lifetime, Meteor Lake will ship hundreds of millions of units, offering the clearest demonstration of leadership packaging technologies in high volume. Last, but by no means least, in 2022, we will ship Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Vecchio combines the best of EMIB and Faveris, enabling us to combine 47 different tiles, 
from five different process nodes into a single package. Pontevecchio is the most advanced package in history with unprecedented levels of integration. These achievements speak to our commitment to heterogeneous integration and packaging leadership. Our newest technologies, Favaris Omni and Favaris Direct, unveiled at Intel Accelerated, build on our history of leadership. Favaris Omni scales the interconnect pitch to 25 micron bump pitch, leading to a quadrupling of bump density. It also expands our ability to mix and match tiles by adding multiple base die options. Favaris Direct introduces solderless direct copper to copper bonding. This enables low resistance interconnects and sub 10 micron bump pitches, opening new horizons in die partitioning not previously achievable. Both technologies represent major advances in the value proposition of advanced packaging. We expect both technologies to be manufacturing ready in the second half of 2023 and are excited for the new product architectures they enable for high yield, high volume manufacturing. Now on to a topic that I feel passionate about, Moore's Law. Continuous innovation is the cornerstone of Moore's Law. As the stewards of Moore's Law, I can confidently say innovation is very much alive and well at Intel. Intel's Components Research Group is focused on innovating across three key areas. Essential scaling technologies for delivering more transistors, new silicon capabilities for power and memory gains, and exploration of new concepts in physics to revolutionize the way the world does computing. Recently at IEDM, we outlined some of our future innovation ideas. Just a few of the items we are researching include major increase in packaging interconnect density, revolutionary transistor architectures, new novel materials for channel scaling, and our continued push into the quantum realm. This research and more gives us confidence we will deliver innovative solutions to the world's computing challenges as we fulfill the promise of Moore's Law. Moore's Law predicts that the number of transistors per device will double every two years. Moore's Law is and always has been driven by innovation. For the first 40 years, the gains came primarily from innovations in our process. Going forward, gains will come from innovations in both process and packaging. Our processes will continue to deliver historic density improvements, while our 2D and 3D stacking technologies give architects and designers more tools to increase the number of transistors per device. As we look forward to innovative technologies such as HiNA, RibbonFit, Paravia, and Favaris Omni and Direct, and other technologies, we see no end to innovation and therefore no end to Moore's Law. We remain undeterred in achieving our aspiration of delivering approximately one trillion transistors in a signal device by the end of the decade. In closing, I would ask that you remember three things. First, as we said at Intel Accelerated in July of 2021, we remain on track to reclaim transistor performance per watt leadership by 2025. Second, our broad portfolio of advanced test and packaging technologies gives us unmatched leadership in the industry, both today and in the future, that benefits our products and foundry customers. And third, and maybe most importantly, innovation has always driven Moore's Law, and innovation continues unabated. Thank you for joining me today.